Pleasure is just around the corner, folks. And today, we're going to take a look at each and every one of the home kits that will be rocking it out in USA 2024. Who's got the best? Who's got the worst? We're going to take a little look. And next... prediction video or tier list video should I say and today we're taking a look at kits that's right of course from the Copa America we're taking a look at each and every one of the home kits for the nations that can be taking place uh, out in the United States in the Copa America tournament that's right we've already done the Euros now it's of course the focus on this side of the pond of course as we look forward to another summer spectacular who's going to look at the best kit let me know your thoughts and opinions down below but anyway big big shout out to my VIPs they are the patrons and if you do where have you been smash your subscribe boys and so let's jump into the vortex here as we look forward to uh, the Copa America. Lots of uh, videos on the channel. We've got previews, we've got reviews, we're going to do predictions, all that kind of jazz right here under Wawrowski. But if you've never seen a tier list video from me, this is how we rock it here. We rank the shirts. There's a, there's a handful of them uh, from best to the rest all the way down to dog shit. And at the end of this video, we'll take a look at the four or five shirts that are in the best of the rest. And then we push two or three of them up to the elite. And then one of those will be deemed uh, the best of the whole shebang so let's get into it and, and of course have a look, look at what we're talking about we're talking about these shirts and they're going to come at you in random order starting with chile of course big big fans of chile we were not anymore because diaz is of course is no longer with us uh, and this is chile shirt they've got a star uh, of course uh, on the crest and they've also got a star in the middle of this design here it's by adidas it's clever it's unique it's ch it's chile i've got a chile shirt myself um, I don't know. I don't know where to put this one. Uh, I think it's a clever shirt, but really, is it all that? I don't think so. I think it's, I think it's decent. It's a decent way to start this uh, 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 tier list video by something in the middle. Next up, I think we got Paraguay. And again, these are not all the shirts. I think there's about three or four nations that are like Jamaica, uh, Costa Rica, maybe not have uh, dropped their shirts, but. Uh, but uh, we may do another update to this as the tournament gets closer. But it is uh, Paraguay with their traditional red and white stripes by Puma, of course. Their badge is a little bit, uh, it needs a bit of a facelift, to be honest with you. Uh, and the shirt could also do with a bit of a facelift. Or it could just just stay where it is. And that is in the trash. No, I'm going to put it in the meh column. I don't think it's... No, it is dog shit. I am actually pushing it down there. Um, I'm just not a fan. There's so much wrong with this shirt. The, it looks like the, the stripes go up to here. They don't continue. The, the, what's going on with the, co the, the collar here? You know, the, it just there's so many the stripes going this, this this diagonal way. Not a fan. I don't like how this cuts off down here. There's so much wrong with this, uh, and I can't really get behind it. So I'm going to throw it straight in the bin uh, in the dog shit. Next up, we have the United States, of course. Yes, and this is a pretty stellar kit. We've got the stripes, of course, by the USA. We've got the blue, of course, as well. The red, white, and blue, all represented here by the Nike uh, effort uh, for the United States. My only concern or, uh, uh, you know, preference would be these stripes to go all the way around the, the thing down here. Um, but, uh, yeah, quality shirt. And the USA hosting this event as a bit of a dress rehearsal for the World Cup. I've done good. Uh, next up, we have Canada. Of course, we'll be hosting the World Cup alongside them, but uh, their home kit here looks pretty shit. Uh, it looks, uh, I don't even know what's going on. I want to like Canada. I'm a big fan of Canada, uh, but this shirt is crap. Uh, don't like all the centralness of it. What are we playing? Fucking ice hockey or something? This this is dog shit. I'm not not. I love I love you, Canada. I really do, and I want to see you succeed. But your shirt is shit. Uh, put it in the trash. It's by Nike as well. For crying out loud! You see what they did for the USA one? What on earth was somebody thinking? I tell you what. Some people. Some people. Just go for simplicity. Don't overcomplicate stuff. Then we have this one. Ecuador. There we go. This is an old red shirt that uh, you've got to be proud of. Uh, decent by Adidas. A smaller badge. Smaller crest on themselves here. Nice gold trim on it. Uh, badge and, and the red is all good. The only concern is the sleeves look a bit shit. Uh, but I like it. I think and I'm going to put it in the best of the rest because I just don't know what what we're coming up. We've already had two dog shit ones. So I'm worried that we're going to have a lot more. Uh, so I'm going to put Ecuador up there. Uh, next up we have Colombia, Colombia here we go in their traditional yellow, we like to see traditional colours, uh, decent, I uh, actually quite like the look at this one, um, the only, again, sleeves, sleeves are concerned, why, why can't we have the Adidas stripes going all the way down, 
that's my main concern. I don't mind this gradient on the side here. It's good how it's it's not cut off or, or you know looks like you forgot to do the rest of the shirt. I think it's a polished shirt. Of course, Colombia uh, have been in the in the shadows in South African football for a long time. Hopefully, they can do well this this tournament in the United States. Like that one. I also like uh, this one by Uruguay. Uh, that's right. And here we are. Of course, uh, well, I like it from when it shrunk. Uh, that's what she said. Um, the stripes are good. They're fine. But why? Why stop? Why stop? Why don't you make them all stripes? Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, and and the, the color's great. Who's making this shirt? It's a mystery. Who fucking makes this shirt? I've got no idea. Um, and on that note, because I don't know who's making it or, or, or what, I'm going to uh, put you in the, the, the decent column right here. I think you're decent, but that's pretty much it. Next up, we've got another South African entry, and this is uh, Venezuela. Is that right? Venezuela, I believe. Uh, stripe, nice strong stripe down there. Of course, Marathon, and again, you know, little, you know, discrepancy, little things for me. Continue this sash all the way round. That'd be fine. Again, it's a decent, strong entry. I think, I think it's, I think it's uh, Venezuela, um, or was this one Venezuela? What the fuck am I doing? Who, whose was this one here? Yeah, maybe this one was Venezuela. Well, regardless. Oh, shit. Now what have I done? It's a decent uh, decent kit. We like it. Uh, I'm going to put it up there. I'm going to put it in the best of the rest. Let's see how we get on. Next up we have, of course, the champions and the world champions as well as Argentina. Uh, of course, rocking that gold badge, uh, as you do. Argentina with a strong shirt, gold everywhere. Um, again, not not happy with the, the with the with the top here with the the collar. I think you got to continue with those stripes all the way around. And again, the, with the stripes here, uh, let you down a little bit. And of course, you know, there's just so many. Little, of course, it's the traditional colours. The, the stripes are good thickness. Uh, there's some good, there's good things to like about the shirt, but really, it's it's alongside Uruguay is just decent. This, you know, I can't get too excited about that. Meanwhile, Brazil. Oh, they've really done a stinker here with this uh, uh, shirt here. What on earth is that? Uh, don't like it. Straight. Sorry. You're alongside Canada with your Nike embarrassment shirt. Sorry, Brazil. That is ghastly. Uh, and you're going in the trash. Uh, next up, we have Peru. Peru, of course, in the tournament this coming summer. And uh, again, sticking with tradition with the red, uh, uh, whatever they call it, slash or whatever. You know, I uh, called it. Uh, the sash, rest red sash down there across the badge, gold on the Adidas, gold uh, trim on the on the on the collars, pretty good. But again, just just little small details would make it an even better shirt. Um, but uh, yeah, nothing fan dabbly dozy about it. It's just going to go alongside Argentina and just decent. It's sticking with tradition, but um, yeah. Next up, we have of course Mexico. Now Mexico are always a uh, uh, they they release some crackers. And this is another one, of course. Uh, great madness, of course. You know, you don't know what to get with, with Mexico. Again, similar to that of Argentina. Why don't you do with the collar here? And, of course, this bit. What is all this little chunk of, of brown? That's my only weakness to this shirt. Or that and this. It is crazy. I don't I don't understand the color. Well, I guess they must be traditional colors. But it's... Uh, it's I like I like Mexico shirts. And for the past couple of tournaments, they've really done themselves... Uh, you know, kicked out of the park. And then we, I think this is the last one uh, for the home ones. Again, we'll do a, an away one. This is for Panama. Panama, of course, old school. Uh, this color is a little bit, uh, you know, we don't see many of those this time around. Um, so I'm going to put you in the meh because it's not really that exciting. So we do have five shirts. Uh, and we're going to push uh, two or three of them up to the uh, elite. So the USA one is pretty good. The Mexico one is also pretty solid. And then the Colombian one is also pretty solid, I think. We'll go for those three. And if I'm going to pick it, I don't. I hate to say it, but I think the American shirt is the best. Yes, it is. Uh, I'm just keeping it clean. Nice white shirt. The, the collar's good. It goes all the way around the neck. Again, there is a, there is, there is a little slight discrepancies on the, on the sleeves, but to be honest with you, it's a cracking shirt. And, and, and the USA have got themselves off to a fantastic start in their preparations for their, their tournament that they're hosting, Copa America, the dress rehearsal. Uh, so well done. Well done to you guys for this shirt. Can they do the double themselves, of course, with their away kits? We'll take a look at those tomorrow. So make sure you check that out. But today, it's all 
USA and they've got a cracking shirt. Let me know your thoughts and opinions about the Cup America shirts that will be rocking in the tournament in this summer down below.